Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. We just do it. Good. Good morning to all our dear audiences. Um, today is a big day. The former first lady, Mama Esther Lungu, has been summoned by the police uh, for what we understand is a possible arrest. We'll get the details much later. She's expected to arrive here with the former president, Zambia 6th president, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu. I think in the next uh, 10, 20 minutes, the call out says 10 hours. We are at Ibex Hill police station next to the Zambia Air Force headquarters. If you know where I'm in mean, housing estate is. I'm with Honorable Mutoto Kafuaya, MP uh, for Lunte and you know, a very senior member of our party. We have arrived, I think, as advance party. We'll walk to where the police are. We'll see if they will allow us. What about to take a fire as you have seen? They've cordoned off the roads a kilometer apart. They are stopping traffic. They are stopping. I don't even know how you managed to, to, to come in. Uh, but uh, then there is heavy uh, armed vehicles that have been deployed and a huge number of police officers that are taking positions. So, welcome and probably you can yeah. just greet the yeah. audience. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, good morning to you, uh, our people everywhere. Um, I, I think that uh, in the in the spirit of Mingalato, we, we are seeing Mingalato are wrong. Uh, these are wrong dribbling uh, you know, methods. And I'll tell you they are wrong because from what I'm seeing, uh, there's a lot of money that has gone into this operation. An arrest should be cheap. It should be straightforward. When you call somebody, somebody presents themselves and they present themselves to the police that you have actually directed to do the job. But in this case, so many police officers, so many uh, vehicles, equipment, you know, guns and magazines loaded. It's, it's totally unfortunate. And all these policemen have come from all over spending money um, and, and they are spending this money carelessly at a time when things are so bad in our country. This is why I feel you mungarato, you waku ipika instead of ipika. But I'm ready for kama kama mikoshino, mamule kama kama mikoshino event. This man, those remarks were unfortunate. They were very unfortunate. You know, when a head of state speaks like that, that will ring your necks. Kalami kama kama mikoshino. That's an order to, to kill. Squeeze oxygen out of the. Yeah, that's an order to mm. kill. To kill. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. I spoke the about president it. should never be, should never propose violence. The president should never speak violence. The president should never be involved in hate speech. This man speaks violence against citizens, against leaders. He speaks literally death against members of the opposition. He uses terms like regrouping. There is no regrouping in democracy. It's mobilization. Absolutely. You just mobilize when you lose the elections. That's not regrouping. But what is causing this confusion is simple. Mm. It's the suffering of the Zambia. True. And the Zambian people are suffering because UPND has failed to do the right thing. Yeah. Look yeah. at the focus. Yeah. How do you focus on a family? How do you focus on a political party? How do you focus on members of PF? Focus on the suffering majority of Zambia. Then you are going to solve the problem. That's what I see. And my advice has always been campaign you put on a chapter to if you look Absolutely. If you do that, things will be easier for you. Yeah. Yeah. Things will be very much easier for the for the UPND, much easier. For the for their president, it's an odd trick. You read about gladiators. So in Greek times, the kings, when there was famine in the land, they didn't know what to do, and there was potential rebellion against uh, the kings because they were living in luxury and opulence. So they said, "What should we do for 
our people, give them sports, sports for six months, and gladiators, prisoners, slaves, they will be thrown into these cages, and the whole day they are fighting against animals, lions, to distract the people from their problems, to distract the people from the lack of service. So this is a sideshow, so that Zambians today are discussing Esther Lungu and Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu, instead of discussing Uvunga, Uwabudurile, 305, 320, whatever you are. They are exporting maize and millimeter when they need not to. You know, they, they, I was looking at a parliamentary report that was given by the minister on crop survey report when he was reporting to you, parliamentarian. And he said the number of farmers has increased from, I think, 2.1 to 2.7. Three weeks later, the president is saying farmers stopped. The, the numbers reduced. I said, can the minister of agriculture inform his president that, uh, in fact, over the years, the farmers have grown? It's, it's very unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.